Given your role as Deputy Chairman for the last five years and you saw how difficult the scenario is in investing in this very you know, volatile global economy, does the rules of the law that you know, GIC and Temasek must be long-term investors still hold? And you know, our hard-earned savings you know, as Singaporeans, how do we ensure that it's in safe hands that can beat inflation and is sustainable? Well, given all of the uh, issues which I've just raised, uh, fundamentally, uh, for long-term investors like GIC, uh, you still have to rely on investing with a long-term perspective, not on a short-term perspective, because that is your strength. You can take a long-term view. GIC has a 20-year view. And uh, you have to have a thorough assessment and knowledge of uh, the various asset classes, economies, companies. Basically, for a long-term investor, not a trader, uh, an investor like GIC does not trade. I mean, when GIC buys something, you hope to hold it for 20, 30 years. What you are looking for is what I would call sustainable value. Companies which will grow with time, which will, will, you can profit with, uh, uh, with them. That's the key. I think that's also the same philosophy which Mr. Warren Buffett also uh, uses for his uh, company, Berkshire Hathaway. And the results, I think, are self-evident. Self so that is what uh, long-term investors have to do. And to be able to do that successfully, uh, not on a one or two year basis, but on a long term uh, basis, you need a professionally managed uh, staff. Staff which are able, staff which are competent, dedicated, who are aware of what is going on, who have contacts around the world, uh, who uh, can see problems before they arise. Um, well, I, I, I'm no longer with uh, GIC. So what, what have you uh, been doing, uh, Dr. Tan, no, since but, then? Uh, <laughs> but, but I'll say that I think GIC went through the financial crisis actually in good shape because fundamentally because they were able to take act, they saw some of the problems and they took action in 2008 well before the crisis and I think that this has helped them. Uh, to weather the crisis and, and emerge in stronger shape, unlike many other investment companies. But this is what you have to do. But it's very difficult because when you look ahead, what they're trying to do, you're trying to predict the future. Mm. And as we all know, that's very, very difficult and you're more likely to be wrong. Touch wood, uh, I think GIC was right and that uh, resulted in it. But uh, next time, they could be wrong. You know? So as all of you who are running businesses know, the future is unpredictable, but all of us have to try and see what lies ahead and to manage the consequences 